Banks may have finally met their match. The grassroots protest is gaining ground, and Bank Transfer Day looks to send a big message to those big banks. Well, this morning, if you're looking to take advantage and make the switch, we do have some tips that you need to know. Lindsay Shively is live at a Kansas City Credit Union with more. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, good morning. Yeah, it proved all those big fees just too much for the consumer to bear. And even though big banks have relinquished their claims, they're going to start charging a lot of them. Still, a lot of people getting ready to move to community banks and to credit unions. And credit unions like this one are getting ready for that move. They're going to have extra staff on hand tomorrow, and they're staying open longer just in case they have new customers walking in the door. So if you are wanting to be one of those customers changing away from these big corporate banks, we have some tips for you because there is a lot to do. The advocacy arm of Consumer Reports has some tips to help you when you're switching. They suggest you open your new account with a small deposit, actually. They are telling you to leave the bulk of your money with your old bank. Deposit just enough to avoid any fees. Next, make a list of all those automatic payments and deposits that are scheduled to go in and out of your account each month. Don't forget any. If you have direct deposit, ask your job to reroute your paychecks to your new account. So once you have all that squared away, you know when the money will reach your new account from your paycheck, then you can start rescheduling those automatic payments. So leave some cash in your old account as much as you might want to just clean it all out. And of course, make sure you check out your old bank's procedure for closing an account so that you don't miss any of the fine print and get charged additional fees as well. So where did all of this come from? Apparently, the banks are saying they started thinking about those bigger fees like Bank of America charging a monthly fine. $5 fee to use your debit card because of a new regulation that limits how much banks can charge merchants for credit for debit card swipes. Apparently, that loss of that revenue is in the hundreds of millions of dollars for these big banks, and they're looking to make it up where they can. The customers just say, not with the current fees that they were thinking about charging. So again, Bank Transfer Day is tomorrow. A lot happening in town for it. There's a protest in Lenexa in front of big banks there. Also, the Occupy KC movement has credit unions they are inviting to set up shop right then and there around their protesters ready to sign on new customers as well. We have a lot more on this on NBCActionNews.com. We're live this morning, Lindsay Shively, NBC Action News Today.